they know that I'm on a magic mountain. So many calls, man, I stop counting. And I've been keeping up with the demons of this world. Yeah, I'm off the deep end. All right, look, LSU won yesterday. Uh, some people think we shouldn't have. <laughs> uh, we beat South Carolina by three points, man. Uh, that's that's ridiculous, not going to lie. And we have a problem, and it's not a Brian Kelly problem, as people keep saying. Fire Brian Kelly. BK and his crew have to go. Why? No, they don't. <laughs> Do you realize what we, what we had before Brian Kelly, man? Look, for the people saying Brian Kelly, his first year, he won his division, beat Alabama and Nick Saban, played for an SEC championship game against Georgia, and scored 30 points in that game. I keep going to push my glasses up, but I ain't got them on. Um, year two goes, what, 9-3, and 10-3 and three with a bowl win. Um, has a top five, if not the best offense in the league last year. Wins um, Jaden Daniels. The Heisman, right? <laughs> and then, um, and is doing well in recruiting. I don't, I don't see why you people want him gone. Do we have some fixing to do on our defense? Yes, a hundred percent. No cap, we do. We have to fix that defense. Some, something's got to change on that defense. Uh, but we're improving. Do not, do people not realize that? <laughs> Listen, I'd much rather go into games with this year's defense than last year's. Now, obviously, our offense took a step back, and I think that's what's, the, that's what's stopping us right now. I really do. I mean, like I said, you put last year's offense on this year's team, dude, I'm telling you, uh, we would have beat Southern California. Um, we would have scored a lot more than we did on Nichols. Uh, we would have blew out South Carolina, in my opinion. I, I just think our offense took a step back. Now, I do not think, there's also people saying Nussmeyer is not our quarterback. You're retarded. <laughs> You're retarded, bro. Nussmeyer's our quarterback. And I think he has an extra year next year, right? So he could come back if he wants to. Um. So, yeah, no. We're not getting rid of Brian Kelly. We're not getting rid of, of Nussmeyer. I think we're just going to have to tough it out this season. I really do. I think offense is going to have... Look, look, listen. We have two running backs that aren't worth anything. <laughs> And look, man, I, 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 it's no disrespect to them guys. You know, they're, they're doing the best they can, and I understand, man. But we're here to win football games, not be best friends, all right? Josh Williams and Caleb Jackson are not the answer at running back. John Emery was our answer. Now, unfortunately, he tore his ACL. But now, the guy that I saw yesterday, K. Durham, freshman, he's going to have to be our starter or, or I'm going to flip. I'm going to flip. I'm going to flip. Josh Williams and Caleb Jackson should not be starting at running back. They really don't need to be playing, but I understand, you know, you got to switch them out or whatever. I do not want to – if we come out against UCLA and Josh Williams is starting at running back, I'm going to break something, okay? All right, now, we got through that. Kate Durham should be our starter. Uh, Ness Meyer is our starter. Cry about it. Brian Kelly's not going anywhere. Cry about it. Uh, now let's talk about the penalties. We we cannot do that. We're supposed to leave that up to Alabama to be that undisciplined. That was ridiculous yesterday. Uh, almost cost us the game. Penalties definitely <laughs> definitely saved us uh, because South Carolina committed so many as well. But uh, yeah, we we cannot we cannot do that again. That's that's ridiculous. And Brian Kelly's been telling us this whole this whole three weeks. These guys want this. They're getting better. They're they're working on it. Are they? Because that was probably one of the worst undisciplined games we've played <laughs> so brian kelly you do need to work on that a lot more than you're saying buddy because that's ridiculous man ain't no reason for that so the flags have to be wrapped up a hundred percent i i we, we're not we're gonna win many games more if we continue doing that alabama they'll probably beat us anyway without the flag honestly Ole miss is gonna make us their bitch um oklahoma maybe we beat oklahoma um ucla we should stomp them but that's not the point the point is brian kelly and Nussmeyer, 
they're not going anywhere. So just stop, stop hopping on that train. Hop off, man. <laughs> um, I think this offense is going to have to to take a look in the mirror and realize we're not 2023 LSU. We're not. We're not. We don't have Jaden Daniels. We don't have Brian Thomas Jr. We don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't have Malik Neighbors. Uh, Garrett Nussmeyer isn't Jaden Daniels. He's not going to run for 80-yard touchdowns. It's just not going to happen. I do think Nussmeyer needs to run a lot more than he does. Uh, there's no reason Nussmeyer shouldn't be able to run. There's just not. I don't know if he's not wanting to um, or if he's being told not to. I trust the guys behind him, uh, Ricky Collins and, and uh, whatever the other guy's name was. I think Nussmeyer will be okay if he ran for a couple yards, man. I mean, the guy just stands there, and he just stands there. Sometimes he sees the defenders coming at him. He, boom! Huh? Now, like I said, Cade Durham played an amazing game. An amazing game as a freshman. Shout out, Cade Durham. Um, Kyron Lacey. Played a good game. Mason Taylor played a good game, man. But we have no running game known to man. We just we just don't. At least from uh, the beginning of yesterday to back before, you know. Um, now we have K. Durham. Maybe we bring up something. Maybe. That offensive line is going to have to step it up. Not going to lie to you. Offensive line is going to have to step it up. Um... What else did we struggle with? Obviously, defense. Secondary is just... Uh, defense line was getting pushed around yesterday. Um, what's his name? Ladarius Sellers? Lenore, L what's his name? He's blind like me. What's his name? Um, Lenore, Se Lenore Sellers? Is that it? I think so. 75-yard um, touchdown. Just straight up the middle. Uh... Defense line was just getting bullied yesterday. They, they were running the ball as much as they wanted to, and there was nothing we could do about it. Um, can't be doing that, man. You, you got to play defense. Um, you just have to, bro. Um, Lenora Sellers gets hurt. Robbie Ashford comes in, and he just couldn't do anything. Uh, Robbie Ashford's so ass, dude. <laughs> Robbie Ashford sucks. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> People say we got saved because Lenore Sellers got hurt. I mean, say what you want to, man. He was beating us when he was in the game. I mean, what do I have to say to that? Well, you were up 17 to nothing. 17-point leads don't just go away on their own, my brother. They don't. You have to earn your way out of a 17 to nothing lead, bro. <laughs> you have to stupidly, openly say here. We're up 17 to nothing, but score some points. That's what you have to do to blow a 17 to nothing lead. Go back to the Minnesota Vikings versus New Orleans Saints in 2017. Saints should have won that game. Um, it hurts to talk about it still, but they blew it. Minnesota blew a 17 to nothing lead and got bailed out by a last minute, last second play, bruh. Get out of my face. South Carolina, that's what you did. I don't want to hear crying. I don't want to hear crying. 17 to nothing lead over LSU. And you blow it. How? How, Sway? What are you talking about? South Carolina's not. Either LSU and South Carolina are trash, or South Carolina's a lot better than people are giving them credit for. So far, it's looking like South Carolina's better than people are saying because they blew out Kentucky. And we saw what Kentucky did to Georgia. Like, right, look, it's not the point. LSU's got some things to work on offensively. Offensive line and defensive line both need to step it up. Secondary it obviously needs to step up, but uh, I've, this is almost two years that I've been doing this. I, uh, 2023 season, we didn't have a secondary known to man. 2024 season doesn't like we have a secondary known to man. Um, a lot of people give Major Burns some crap. Uh, he's an experienced player. We need him. I don't care what people say. Um, we need uh, Major Burns right now. Harold Perkins, uh, outside of the fumble, I don't, I don't remember hearing his name yesterday. You know, he recovered that fumble. 
Harold Perkins is going to have to step up next week, man. Um, we got some hard games coming up. Schedule doesn't get any easier. Alabama. Uh, we'll blow out UCLA this week, by the way. Alabama, Oklahoma, Florida, A&M. Who else? That may be Ole Miss. Jesus Christ. We'll get beat by Ole Miss. <laughs> let, let me stop because I can't do that right now. Um, Yeah, LSU has some problems and we need to fix them. Simple as that. Uh, run game, offensive line, defensive line. Fix yourself, bro. I, I mean, come on now. It's your job. It's your only job. Your only job as an offensive lineman is to block. Do it. <laughs> your only job as a running back is to run. Josh Williams and Caleb Jackson can't run. They look like they're walking through mud, man. Why are you let a freshman and Kay Durham come out there and outplay y'all like that? You ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. And I have no problem with you. You play for LSU, so I don't have I don't I don't hate you or anything, but you gotta do your job, bruh. You gotta do your job. Defensive line, getting bullied by South Carolina, bruh. What are we talking about, man? We deserve better than this. We deserve better than this. After <laughs> after going through 2020 and 2021 with Ed Orgeron and not winning anything, we deserve better than this, dude. And look, shout out South Carolina. They came to play yesterday, man. Old Beamer ball. Uh, they came to play. But you don't get to cry to me. We only y'all only won because uh Lenora Sellers got hurt. You were up 17 to nothing. That don't just go away by itself, bruh. I can't help that you have Robbie Ashford as your backup quarterback. <laughs> Maybe get a goat like Ricky Collins, and then you can say something to me. I don't want to hear nothing from no South Carolina fan. Oh, Beamer ball. Beamer my ass. Get out of my face. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like Liz, my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yamaka, homie, no cap.